Most of us don't think twice about breathing, but it's the last thing that you can take for granted when you work with hazardous substances. Because contaminated air can burn your throat and lungs, damage your brain, liver, kidneys, or other organs, even smother you to death. OSHA's HAZWOPPER standard requires workers to use proper respiratory protection to prevent tragedies like these. How can you know what respiratory hazards you'll face where you work? Answering this can be difficult because hazardous materials come in many forms and some of them cause health problems that aren't immediately obvious. To detect dangerous airborne contaminants, your safety department will run various tests on your work area. If hazardous conditions are found, your company may be able to install processing systems to filter the air or set up emergency respirator stations to protect workers if an accident releases pollutants into the atmosphere. Engineering controls, like pressurized cabs, can also often be used to keep employees isolated from airborne contaminants. Environmental controls can reduce airborne contaminants as well. For instance, spraying water on dry, dusty surfaces will limit the amount of particles that float through the air.